कर रहा है तो वो किस तरीके से सारी चीज की डेवलपमेंट करे इसी के साथ आज का हम कार्यक्रम शुरू करते हैं आई थिंक टेक्निकल टीम इज नॉट एबल टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम सो लेट्स कॉल इट ऑफ मैं आपको डायरेक्ट स्क्रीन दे रहा हूं आप जाइए और आप कविता जी स्टार्ट कीजिए एंड लेट्स गो हेड विथ योर प्रोग्राम Shall I share the screen, sir? Yes, you share the screen, please. Because I gave enough opportunity to the technical team, but they could not resolve the issue. So let them take their own time, and later on we can work on to that. Because I don't believe the last-minute changes or other things and all that. it's only because by the gift of the gap i can always manage the situations but some of the people they come at the last moment at the last time and just before going they think how to do it now so that i think somewhere in tourism is not acceptable we all got to see it everything to be done systematically timely innovatively and that's what is tourism we all got to realize it we got to package it and the technical people also have to take equal kind of an interest in everything to promote and package the best possible way dr kavita ji aap apna mic unmute kijiye is it visible to you sir uh it's a blank screen is it visible now sir yes please it's visible rethinking tourism with a holistic approach case study of kurukshetra isko full kar lijiye niche se thoda bada kar lijiye चलिए कोई बात नहीं हम इतने से भी काम चला लेंगे आप कीजिए आई होप इट इज विजिबल हाँ जी हाँ जी स्क्रीन इज विजिबल बट फुल लेंथ नहीं आ पाया मैं सोच रहा था कि फुल लेंथ आ जाए तो बड़ा अच्छा रहेगा कोई बात नहीं नो no वरीज ये शॉर्ट हो गया नीचे जो राइट एंड साइड में आपका जहां पर एक कप सा बना होता है उसके ऊपर जाइए तो यू विल बी एबल टू डू इट I hope yes. now it is now it is full screen wonderful please go ahead Radhe Radhe namaste good morning bonjour sat sri akal a very warm welcome to all of you today i am kavita singh from srm university is going to have a word with you through this very huge platform icsi where major dr gulshan sharma ji who is a dg over there has given a, an opportunity to me to talk to you all people and connect with you and it will remain a connection with all of you so today i'll be talking about rethinking why i am calling this as rethinking because the pandemic has given us a huge shock you can say that we need to think again about the tourism because everything was at halt during the pandemic and the tourism sector was the most sufferer of that time so we need to give this uh, as a rethink and there should be a holistic approach that we need to develop each and every aspect of this tourism sector i'll be talking about kurukshetra because main haryana ki beti hu aur i am working here in haryana only as a part of srm university delhi ncr so india is a part india is part of the world where we call it as a atithi devo bhava this is the most important aspect of india which is being taken by the people around the globe that whosoever is coming to us they are like our atithis and we should 
treat them as the god only and we are incredible india because we have the values which are being spread around the world and i am talking from haryana which gives a clear cut indication hari ka ana is haryana so indian tourism is the biggest sector of the world which has a lot of opportunities for the students the people who are already in this sector karman ne vadhikaras pe ma phaleshu kadachana ma kan phal hetu ghormate sangostva karmani you have the right to walk only but never to its fruits rightly said by lord krishna let not the fruits of action be your motive not let your attachment to be in action you need to work but do not attach yourself with any of the things in this world because hum we came with the empty hands and we have to go with the empty hands only so when man can train himself to know and to practice when the idea of doing good becomes a part of one's very being then he will not seek for any motive outside let us do good because it is good to good to do good and he who does good work even in order to get to heaven binds himself down rightly said by the karma yogi swami vivekanand ji any work that is done with any the least selfish motive instead of making us free forges on more than our own feet bring all light into the world yes we have to bring the light let light come unto everyone the task will not be finished till everyone has reached the lord because we this is the responsibility of one who has reached that light to bring other people to that light so remember the lord says in the gita to work you have the right but not to the result do everything without attachment krishna did everything but without attachment he was in the world but was not of it he was there in the world but he didn't think that it is a home for him do all work without attachment work for works sake never for yourself you need to be selfless then only you can do the best things in your life which is the demand of the society at present yes i am talking about kurukshetra which is in haryana and haryana is the part of great india this is the touristic statistics of haryana which is talking about 2010 to 2022 it was at a huge site but due to pandemic we are at the lowest age right now and that's why i'm talking about this tourism sector of india on the occasion of world tourism day today yes kurukshetra is a historical place because many histories are related with kurukshetra if i talk about the mahabharata it is related to kurukshetra it is located in the kurukshetra district of haryana in india and it is a witness of all the wars between the kauravas and pandavas which ended up with the fight between the kauravas and pandavas but ended with the demolition of the facts or the figures which were not right and appropriate for the world we call it as 48 course also because it is handling the things which are in the surroundings and all the things are historical and the sites for pilgrimage only it's a great place of historical and religious significance known for many names like brahmshetra uttra devi brahma devi dhramshetra 
why we are calling it as dharam kshetra because yahan par dharm ki hani ko hone se roka gaya tha in india we try to come over the all evils and try to get the right things to be done it's a center of attraction for all tourists because many places irrespective of any caste creed or religion we have a number of touristic places in kurukshetra it is a famous pilgrimage site for all which is also a witness of geeta jayanti at kurukshetra so geeta jayanti is celebrated every year in india and more than 2 billions of people approximately visit here during this festival it was formed haryana was formed in november 1st 1966 and the most important part of this is mahabharata mahabharata sometimes we see that good people keep quiet when something wrong is going on we should open our mouth whenever injustice is happening in mahabharata we can see that bhishma pitama was sitting quietly when the wrong things were going in the sabha so dear all i must say that whenever things are not on the right track we should open our mouth and try to stop the things otherwise many mahabharata will take place in the future also so we have several imprints of 48 course 48 course because it is having some parts which are very renowned around the world in the kurukshetra as we know that kurukshetra is a bhumi of porvas it's a great kurukshetra or 48 course kurukshetra bhumi which lies between the two rivers which are saraswati and drishavati which is spread for the five revenue districts of haryana like kurukshetra kathal karnal jind and panipat that's why we call it as 48 cos kurukshetra in the text of mahabharata kurukshetra has been identified as a place where consisting of land spreading over 20 yojana and lying between jeev and saraswati on the north and drishavati on the south bounded by four door keepers or yakshas for four carnival corners so that's why it is called as a 48 course place yada yada hi dharmas galanir bhavati bhar abhyuthanam adharmas कृष्णा krishna has rightly said that whenever there will be declining of the religion he has to come he will be coming to the world and he will be coming on the earth in one way or the other to deliver the pious and to we can see ma'am please go ahead to deliver the pious and annihilate the miscreants well as to reestablish the principles of religion i myself appear millennium after millennium so whenever something wrong will be going on to the earth to annihilate the miscreants the lord krishna will be coming to the earth as well as try to establish the principles of religion because we can have the lord in one human being or the other 
so he will be appearing millennium after millennium we cannot recognize that he is lord krishna but he will be there on the earth itself so these are the major touristic attractions in the kurukshetra whenever someone is visiting here they have they must visit brahm sarovar jyoti sar bhadra kali mandir shri krishna museum panorama darohar which is haryana museum kalpana chawla museum sheik chilli stone sanehit sarovar gurudwara chevin patashahi krishna arjun mandir buddhist stupa harsh ka tila dukh bhanjan mahadev farid court house ban ganga tirupati balaji staneshwar mahadev birla mandir गुरुद्वारास जयराम विद्यापीठ भीष्म कुंड नरका अरुणाई टेम्पल एटीन फिफ्टी सेवन वॉर म्यूजियम जैन मंदिर लक्ष्मी नारायण मंदिर हनुमान मंदिर मल्टी आर्ट कल्चरल सेंटर ओपी जिंदल पार्क बाबा सरभंगी डेरा हेलवा पेहुआ मरकंडेश्वर मंदिर बाबा काली कमली मंदिर these are some of the major touristic attractions which are there in kurukshetra so one has to visit because these are the places where you can find the imprints or the things which had been witness of the war between the kauravas and pandavas brahm sarovar jyoti sir the light show at jyoti sir is amazing one can have the fascinating things over there then we have bhadrakali mandir it is related to mata and shri krishna museum where we can see all the things which are there related to shri krishna only dharohar haryana's museum we can see starting from the beginning of haryana whatever culture has been adopted and becoming the part of haryana is being shown over there kalpana chawla museum yes kalpana chawla who was a scientist and a beauty of karnal you can see all the things which were related to her and they motivate the people or the students who go there that how one can achieve their target in the life sheik chilli storm is another attraction sanhit sarovar where we talk about the best of everyone Gurudwara Chevin Patashahi. Yes, Gurudwara. Irrespective of caste and creed, as I was talking, we have all kind of attractions in Kurukshetra. We go to the Dwara of Guruji. We call it as Gurudwara. Then Krishna Arjun Mandir, where we can find out that how Krishna Ji taught Arjuna that how one has to come up and look at the right path. and we have to see that if someone is wrong in the family we need to suppress that it can be at home it can be at the organization it can be at the state level we should try to come up with the right things whatever is justifiable for the society buddhist stupa yes buddhas taught that how to get peace in our life Harsh ka tila is one of the attraction. Dukh Bhanjan Mahadev. We know that Mahadev ji is known for to take our griefs and sorrows. Farid Court House is there. Ban Ganga, where we know that Ganga is a region which is who was the mother of Bhishma Pitama, and she was the lady who did all best for her. kids tirupati balaji which is uh, uh, which just came up because of the uh, on the demand of the people uh, uh, throughout the world sthaneshwar mahadev birla mandir birla mandir it is similar to the mandir which is there in the new delhi and tirupati balaji as i was talking it is similar which is there in the south gurudwaras jairam vidyapeeth bhishma kund narkatri arunai temple and we as uh, gulshan ji was talking about the war with, uh, 
fought in the India and Haryana. 1857 war museum is there where we can get each and everything which is related to this particular war. Jain Mandir is again there. Jain Mandir, why we are talking about Jain Mandir? Because Indians love peace and they want to gain and they want to come up, which is above the artificial things in the surroundings. Lakshmi Narayan Mandir, because the, we Indians are very, uh, uh, we love to attach to the God. So we have Lakshmi Narayan Mandir also, Hanuman Mandir. We know that Sankat Mochan Hanuman Ji, we call him because he takes away all the Sankats of the human beings. Multi-art culture center is one of the major source of attraction at Kurukshetra because we have all the cultural things which are being related to the entire Haryana and to some extent all the things which are related to India which makes us incredible India. OP Jindal Park is there. We can enjoy the fresh air and the actual scenery of the world. Flora and fauna is there. Baba Sarbhangi Dera Helva Pehva. It is a place where we go to seek the blessings of the Babaji because we Indian, we believe that wherever our Gurdwaras are there, Mandirs are there, we find that our gods are sitting there. We do not think that it is a stone. No, this is not a stone. This is our Astha. This is lying in the hearts of Indians. That's why we always seek the good things over there. Markandeshwar Mandir and Baba Kali Kamli Mandir. All these are the major attractions which must be visited by everyone whosoever is coming, either from India, the different states or the world. I was talking about light and sound show at Jyotisar. You can have a look on these pictures. These are the pictures which are made by the light and sound is being given at the back end where we can see that here in one of the picture, you can see that Krishna and Arjuna are there and we can have a feel that how Krishna ji is preached Arjun during the, before the beginning of the Mahabharata. And here we can see Lord Shiva and the other things which depicts the entire Kurukshetra at that particular place. If I talk about the essence of Gita and Kurukshetra, this is the place which is being demanded by every person in the world. The people who are sitting around the globe, they love to come to India. They love Krishna. They are talking about Radhe Radhe, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Krishna. We celebrate International Gita Mahotsav in India. And it is also being celebrated at Canada. And many other festivals are also taken care of by the Indians. And Kurukshetra, where we call Kuru ka Shetra means where we talk about the Karam Shetra only, that we are born and brought just to do the work irrespective of the fruit, whatever we are going to get after doing that particular task. We have to rise above our own task because we are born and brought in this society. God has given us mind and God has made us a Animal, you can say we are also animal, but the animal with mind and tongue which can speak. So we have to take care of each and every aspect or the other beings or the animals or the non-living things because the God has given us birth because we have something to do in this world. So we should not waste our life. We have to do the right things in this world and we should follow the values and culture of the things which are being spread or the taught by our Buzurgas and the God has given us. 
Ratnavali is another aspect which is celebrated here. Chetar Chaudas Mela is organized in Kurukshetra. Solar eclipse, whenever eclipse is there, a entire program is being celebrated and organized in Kurukshetra. Then International Saraswati Mahotsav, because Kurukshetra is having Saraswati at one corner, so we celebrate the International Saraswati Mahotsav also. Saraswati, we know that is a river. Saraswati Mata, which is a symbol of Gyan, we have to put ourselves in front of Devi Saraswati. Amavasya Mela is also organized at Kurukshetra. And Chhat Puja, which is coming up like anything, is being celebrated at Kurukshetra. This is nothing but a symbol of like unity and diversity. All kinds of festivals are celebrated at Kurukshetra. All people are welcomed at Kurukshetra. We welcome each and every person throughout the globe. They must visit Kurukshetra and see the beauty of the Kurukshetra and feel the beauty of the people and their hearts. These are some of the upcoming attractions at Kurukshetra, like Gita Gyan Sansthanam. The entire thing related to Gita and its Gyan. So this will be a place of Gita. Then Geo Gita Museum. We see that the current scenario of is of artificial intelligence. So we'll be having Geo Gita Museum also. Gyan Mandir will be coming up. Krishna Arjun Mandir at Jyotisar, Mahabharata Museum at Jyotisar, Abhimanyupur. We know that Abhimanyu was the son of was the son of Pandavas and Arjuna's son who fought the war like any brave in the very small age. Age, but now we are coming up with entire place which will be belonging to Abhimanyu only. Then one elevated railway track is coming up and another is Swami Narayan Akshardham temple. We know that Akshardham temple is there in Lakshmi Nagar in Delhi. But similar kind of temple is being planned at Kurukshetra and shortly it will be there. So, Kurukshetra, as decided by our Honorable Chief Minister of Haryana, that we are going to develop Kurukshetra as a touristic hub by 2025. Because it's a place of all religions, it is a symbol of love, unity, and diversity. Every person was love to visit Kurukshetra, and the people who belong to Kurukshetra who are who are residing in the surroundings of Kurukshetra, who have any kind of attachment with Kurukshetra or any kind of stakeholder would love to be a part of Kurukshetra and welcome the people around the globe. Why I'm calling it as unity and diversity? Because we people are united being Indians. We have this in our blood and irrespective of di diversified culture, we are together and we work for India and we work for humanity. India is a place which is in Haryana. Haryana, uh, sorry, India is a place which consists of Haryana. Haryana consists of Kurukshetra and Kurukshetra is a land of tourists. I can take it as vice versa also. Tourists visit to Kurukshetra. With the help of these tourists, we have a lot of avenues in terms of startups, in terms of the manpower services, in terms of uh, the uh, other things which are being required by these tourists. We can have export and import of the prashads and other things which are being required by the people. So, Kurukshetra will be having a place of generating revenues. These revenues will lead to the economy of Haryana. And at, at the end of the day, 
we contribute these things to our entire unit our unit is india yes india is a system where we all are working together and we have to empower india besides women empowerment the slogan which is given by our honorable prime minister of india shri modi ji attracting tourists can lead to generating avenues and revenues why because we will be requiring lot of things when the people will be visiting to this particular place we need hospitality and manpower industry why hospitality because if people are coming we have to take care of them for that will be requiring hotel industry to for hotel industry will be requiring manpower who can manage the hotels who can manage the entire show and in those hotels people will be coming they will be requiring food and other things so it is a good revenue and avenue for food industry also service industry because people need to serve the people who are coming to visit this particular place some of the people who come from the surroundings or the around the globe they like they fall in love with lord krishna and they do not go back examples can be seen at iskon temples in kurukshetra or the other parts of india like delhi it is again going to add to the education sector also why education sector because according to nep we need to have a mandate for the value education for the kids not only for the kids but to the people who are providing this education being a teacher or a professor i need to have those values in myself then only i can preach or teach these values to the others it is a huge benefit for the youth segment because when people are visiting to india we can have good links we can generate connectivity with the people from other countries or the people who are nris we can have a win win situation we can have connectivity those with those people it will be again a good source for export and import export because we can serve the people who demand indian things or indian prashad or kheer which is being served in the temples or the touristic places if i talk about kurukshetra we can import the things according to the uh, needs of the people who are coming to visit to the kurukshetra during a particular session like you can say the geeta jayanti we should understand how many people can visit we we can go for a, a little bit idea of forecasting that uh, what will be the number of people visiting what other things how many hotels how many dharmshalas what kind of food is being liked by the people what kind of people should be there who can take care of these people so that they can have a sense of belongingness and visit again and again to this particular place then education sector yes we talk about the education to the people who are serving there they must have the understanding about the people they must understand that how to honor how to take care of the people and how to make them feel like home yes our youth india is going to become the youngest country in the world we know that by 2030 so youth is at our priority we need to make them the best of the rest so lord krishna is inspiring beings he is the only one he is the power which is coming up in the human beings or taking them at work it is inspiring the youth people are moving towards the teachings of the krishna that we should do all the good things in our life we should not go towards the evils we should try to 
increase our strengths and decrease our weaknesses. Haryana is blessed enough that we have Krukshetra in this. And in Krukshetra, Krukshetra is the land of Krishna and Pandavas. So we are very thankful to the God who blessed us with this particular place, a holy place, which is called as Krukshetra. So we, India, we are part of this globe which is diversified enough, but all Indians are there and others are there in India. We can have a glimpse from this particular picture that how people are going for Radhe Radhe, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna. Ye gunj, aap charu sun sakte hain. The devotees of Lord Krishna is coming to India and this is amazing to these, to meet these people. They are the people of Lord, those who actually believe in God and they, they love to serve the mankind. They are born to serve the society only. And around the globe, now India is, mini India is coming up because God has sent us to do the best task in the world. We need to take care of other human beings also. And we need to come up with the good things in our life because the good things are also there, bad things are also there. We need to overcome the sins in the, which are there in the globe. And for that, we need to spread the teachings of Lord Krishna. And we can say that it is a land of people like Swami Vivekananda. Kurukshetra is contributing to education also. According to New Education Policy 2020, there is a linkage between the education and value education. Why? Because this is the most important and alarming time where we need to focus on the values. The five human values are integral part of all religions. Irrespective of any religion, these value should prevail on the earth, in the society. Then only we can survive. Otherwise, there is an end to everything. Truth, yes, we should have the truth in our life. If I am talking at present, something, talking something else in the afternoon, talking something else in the evening, then it is not truth. Values prevail. Values do not change with time, with place and space. Then peace. One needs to understand what is the meaning of peace. Peace do not come up with the artificial things in the surroundings. It come up with whatever we have. We need to take it as it is and we should thank to the God who has made us to earn the livelihood of ourselves as well as the persons in our family, non-violence. Yes, we should not go for any kind of violence because Mahatma Gandhiji was a person who gave a lesson of non-violence through his non-violence movement during the independence of India because we can get the things through violence. But if I'm going for violence, I can have a lot of damages which are not good for the mother earth as well as for the people or the child of mother nature. Then yes, we should have love in our life. Love is between, for, and everywhere it should exist. It should exist between the colleagues. It should exist between a brother and a sister. It should exist between the family. It should exist 
in a unit, like I'm working in SRM University, it should be there. Love has many angles. We need to under, understand all the angles of that love. Then righteous conduct, which is the most important because if I'm not having a good conduct, it will definitely harm the society. We should go for the conduct which is welcomed by others. We should have the right conduct towards others for ourselves also. We should not take the things at the cost of our self-respect also. But to maintain that self-respect also, we need to have a right conduct only. Try to make others who are not having right kind of conducts towards ourselves, we need to tell them that what kind of behavior is acceptable. Because the behavior which I do not like for myself, I should not go for others. insult how I can insult others. Right. So the same thing I need to teach to the people in the surroundings also. They do not have any kind of right to behave or to behave which is not acceptable at all. So these are the five human values which should be there in the system so that we can grow like anything. And an educated person, a real education, educated person will definitely have truth, peace, non-violence, love and righteous conduct as the part of their moral values. Because our dharma contributes to the education. Dharma tabhi hota hai jab hum educated hongi. Education doesn't mean the degrees. We need to educate our mind in such a way that we are the people who are sent by the God on the earth and who have certain duties, roles and responsibilities to do the welfare of the society. There are several education institutions in Kurukshetra and nearby. If I talk about the public institutions, we have Kurukshetra University, we have Deen Bandhu Chotu Ram University of Science and Technology in Sonipat, Chaudhary Ranbir Singh University, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Law University in Rajiv Gandhi Education City, and there are many colleges and institutions which are surrounding Sonipat, Kurukshetra, and Panipat and other places which are lying in between on this particular belt. And we are very close to the heart of the India. That is the center, Delhi. And we have private institution. The topmost institution is SRM University, Delhi NCR, which is there in Sonipat among the private institutions. And the best part of this university is that our founder chancellor, Shri T.R. Parivindar ji is so kind enough, generous that he gives a lot of scholarships to the students who actually desire and need this scholarship. So I'm very thankful and feel to be a part, feel very good and happy that I'm part of SRM University and the Faculty of Management where I am presently working. Then we have Ashoka University. Ashoka University is a art university, which is very good in the education city only. Then we have World University of Design and OP Jindal Global University, which is known for law and management courses. So these are some of the institution. And we can say that we have a hai, in which we can dip ourselves. We have a lot of institutions colleges, schools, all the things you think of is present in Haryana, especially starting from Kurukshetra to Delhi. All good things are available here. To come up with this, I would like to give certain suggestions and I would like to tell that some things are 
required because if i i am talking about haryana or the kurukshetra it is not a place it is a place of all people around the globe and we can say that these are the things which are being liked by the people around the globe or the demand of the time most historical places in india there are many places in india in haryana in kurukshetra and on the occasion of this international tourism day i request all the people throughout the globe to visit kurukshetra because kurukshetra is being developed as a place for everyone and it is having a rich historical background with the battle of kurukshetra fought in this particular city of on chang and glamour and it has grown in modernity so it is having a rich historical background and we know that battle of kurukshetra was fought in this in this city and we have a its own charm and glamour and with the demand of the modern times we are coming up with all the things which are being required by the people who are visiting india during any of the occasions you can say the geeta jayanti or geeta mahotsav we do love to serve the people this city date dates back to the harappa civilization and the things are still kept in a very beautiful way war is sometimes justified this city is taking us back to the harappa civilization and the things are still kept in a very beautiful way why i am saying that these are kept in a very beautiful way because all the things which are talking about the beginning or evolution of haryana or india are being taken care of very well and are taken as it is they were existing and i am ta talking that war is sometimes justified because sometimes you need to stand in front of the elements who try to disturb the society in one or other way round like if i talk about mahabharata mahabharata was fought between kauravas and pandavas why because the people who were there in a part of who were there a part of the team of pandavas they were kind enough they do not wanted to have any kind of war they gave enough opportunities to for was that they were not willing to fought the war because they do not wanted to harm the society at any cost but somehow they were failed to manage that show because of the other party of the other side why i am talking about this the other party was korvas korvas they had like minds together when a right thing is there in the society you when a right person is there and wants to say something right wants to do right things you need to fight with thousands of people who are negative in their own way the negative minds always stop you to work the right things but in that time if the war is required it is justified 
because it is not always good to keep quiet or keep mum because we have to come up with the things which are good for the society and for that ek kavita ko marna pade to koi baat nahi but the right thing should prevail in this society and should keep on prevailing for the mankind also so there is no point in occupying the high moral ground if you lose in the process if you lose in the process it means you should not give up if you are correct but if you are giving up it means your morale was not high we have to keep our morale also high and we should not lose in the process until we reach to the end of that ashoka the great emperor came to kurukshetra to gain all the learnings of the world hame pata hai we know that who was ashoka the great emperor who had all the best things with him but he came to india because he had all things in his mind which he wanted to learn from india why he wanted to learn from india because india is the place where everything is at a positive end and people come to india to gain all sorts of learnings well said well said of the world so we have plenty of museums temples and monuments to look up to popular we can have everything whatever you think in your mind we have there in india we have there in haryana we have in kurukshetra we have n number of museums we have many temples monuments which you will enjoy being and coming and visiting at india it's a popular tourist destination in the recent past india is found or considered as the best or the most popular tourist destination in the recent past because india is a place where buddhas was there where krishna was there where swami vivekananda was there where you can think of all the great personalities of the world and at present we can talk about our prime minister who is a person who is very down to earth and working for the society and the nation so we have to look upon the things which are being required by the people in the society not for myself we will be known by the work which we are going to do for the society so this webinar was a stage which is being provided by icsi and it was the demand of the time because through this webinar only i could be able to connect with the people around the globe and my humble thanks to each and every one and by this webinar because on this very particular occasion of international tourism day this is the right time where i can talk about kurukshetra and its beauty because it's a rich historical place and Thank you. it is very charm and glamorous place Thank so you. we should focus on all the areas which are being there which are there which can be assisted or by the people to, to visit and we have several packages 
two and travel companies which are offering services to the society and the icsi is being linked with me as a part of sri system and we'll have a long lasting relationship where we can contribute together contribute to the welfare of the society and this particular day is chosen for this particular seminar webinar because very soon we'll be having the various festivals which will be organized as kurukshetra like chhat puja will be there and the uh, geeta jayanti mahotsav these are the key things which are about to take place at this particular place and the people should know the uh, love which is lying there in kurukshetra and the people who are eagerly waiting for the visitors in kurukshetra so we can have such an innovative packages uh, tour and travel agencies can think of by looking at the paying capacity of the people around the globe and the people of even we can say the different states and the uh, dist uh, distant places in india itself also we can think of those and we it is having a huge potential for spiritual tourism at kurukshetra and the nearby places because why i'm saying spirituality is there in the veins of the people who are residing in kurukshetra and in india so thank you ma'am thank you it was wonderful it was wonderful to have your views can you be kind enough to close the presentation ma'am that would yeah. be very kind of you you can close it so that we can come on the main screen and we can come directly right over there so ladies and gentlemen we all enjoyed wonderful uh, you know the complete uh, connection with the kurukshetra the historical perspective and the spiritual perspective and geeta ka upadesh lord krishna and arjuna ma'am you got to close the presentation niche so jahan aapka screen share hota hai na wahan par red color ka button hoga wahan se close kar lijiye so it was something very remarkable and i'm pretty sure that each one of you must have rejuvenated with the kurukshetra and we have got uh, from the chamber on the world tourism day making uh, some of the request which we would like to convey number one that the government of haryana can think of if there can be other states and other historical figures Last and other people reading. other people why not we should work out a strategy that the film should be made on uh, uh, kurukshetra that is the complete uh, commercial film bollywood film for which government of haryana should give some incentives some perks to the film producer directors and we should have a film being shot over there number 1 number 2 second part is there we all should make it a point to take a trip that we all should go over there we should travel over there we should see kurukshetra we should enjoy kurukshetra witness the sound and light show also and all those historical places which are linked over there and with that ladies and gentlemen we come to the end of today's first session second session is going to be at 1 o'clock today where we are going to talk about digital technology in tourism what are the new gadgets which are coming up how the technology is going to play a very important role so mm -hmm. all that we will be taking up at 1 o'clock and tonight we all meet at 8 p.m. when we get from the world over the non resident indians indian diaspora together to talk about to walk about so we got to survive we got to revive we got to thrive and as we are having this series under feast that's a forum of educators and skill providers of tourism it's very important that all teachers let's give practical part of the education ecosystem let academic become relevant to our day to day life day to day living day to day survival and day to day our revenue generation whatever we are doing and children youth students wherever you are try and have some case studies try and have a practical approach to everything because education has got a definite purpose when you talk about it has got economic purpose culture purpose and social purpose and finally your personal purpose with these words 
let's call it off now thank you very much we rejoin at one o'clock once again and you will be having the digital journey and 8 p.m tonight thank you very much ma'am god bless you stay fit now you link up entire sonipat education ecosystem together through you get all these stakeholders all universities all colleges all institution everybody and let's focus on what we can do in beautiful state haryana thank you very much